Good evening. To begin our family prayer, shall we all sing the hymn, Count Your Blessings. who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. For those who are gracious and compassionate and righteousness. God will come to those who are generous and learn freely who conduct their affairs with justice. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure, they will have no fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. Good evening. In this evening, let us meditate from Psalm 112. Scholars believe that this is the continuation of Psalm 111 because the style is the same. As we were meditating yesterday, I told you that this is a special song. It is arranged in a very special way that the alphabetic order is followed, that I told you. The same arrangement is here in this psalm also. So this psalm is known as acrostic psalm. This psalm has 22 lines 
as per the alphabetic order these 22 lines are arranged but as i have told you in our vernacular language or in other languages when we translate this style is not followed so we do not understand the exact um, poetic style we are not able to enjoy that okay when we talk about uh, psalm 111 there it talks about the righteous god it always talks about the righteous god how god is righteous how god saved them how god redeemed them all that thing yesterday we were meditating and in this psalm we read about the righteous person we read about the righteous person and how he would be blessed that is what is recorded in this psalm the first verse says blessed are those who fear the lord who find great delight in his commands when we talk about blessing if we have very good house good vehicle good position good wealth then we think that we are blessed but here he says blessed is the person who find great delight in his commands if you are sincerely following with great joy in our heart you are a blessed person that is what the author is trying to tell us then he says their children will be mighty in the land the generation of the upright will be blessed as we live in this world most of the times we are very much concerned about the future especially we are very much concerned about the well-being of our children we try to educate them so well we try to preserve them so well we want to accumulate some wealth for them so that they will not struggle in their life all that thing is coming to our mind but this author is telling that their children will be mighty in the land and the generation of the upright will be blessed who the children whose parents are delighted are sincerely following the commands of god and who fear the lord so if you are very concerned about your children remember one thing fear the lord follow the commandments of his uh, scripture or his words sincerely our younger generation will be blessed very much we need not worry about anything in verse 3 we read wealth and riches are in their houses and their righteousness endures forever see this is what i was telling you if you fear the lord if you do the righteous things then wealth and right riches are there in our house always in the bible in the new testament we have one wonderful verse seek ye first the kingdom of god and its righteousness seek ye first the kingdom of god and all the other things will be added unto you but we always look for the wrong thing and expecting the right thing how is it possible when we do the right thing god would bless us so abundantly see the wonderful was uh, was for even in darkness light dawns for the upright for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous we need not worry about darkness at all we feel as though we are going through the dark age the darkness is ruling as of today we are not able to come out of our homes freely we are very scared because darkness is there but the author is telling even in this darkness light dawns for the upright if we are righteous if we love god if you have faith in god even in this situation god would lead us because jesus says i am the light of the world 
I am with you always. When that light is with us, why we'll have to worry about this darkness? So let us not think about the darkness at all. This is temporary, just came in. But God says, for the past so many thousands of years, I am the light of this world, I am with you. Then why we will have to worry about the darkness? Let us not worry or think about this at all. Let us not talk about this. Let us talk about only the light. Let us think only about the light which is living within. Let us think about that. I am very sure we will enjoy light, happiness, righteousness in our life. Not only we, to, the, to others, to our neighbors, we can shine. In this darkness, they may see light in our life and they may follow that. And verse 5, good will come to those who are generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. See, we should remember one thing. God always talks about justice and righteousness. Justice and righteousness. This is his main character and quality. If we say that we are his children, we should also have these qualities. Righteousness, justice. Let us give important to these things. Let us try to imitate these characters from our Lord. I'm very sure God would love us. He would bless us. In verse 6 we read, Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. What a wonderful assurance God has given to us. The righteous will never be shaken. Never be shaken. Whatever the situation it may be. It may look so dark. But remember, the light is with us. We will never be shaken. And we will be remembered by God for ever. And verse 7, they will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. If we trust in the Lord, there is nothing like any bad news. Be assured, always good news would be knocking our door. We need not worry about anything. With that confidence, faith, belief in God, let us face this challenge. God would change everything. He would remember us always. We need not worry about anything. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your concern for us. We thank you for our for your love towards us. The Bible always talks about your righteousness and justice. Though we claim to be your children, many times we are not able to do the right things. We are not able to do, the, do justice in this world. Lord, help us to always follow your footsteps. Help us always to do the right things. Sometimes we do the right things when these fleshly attitude dominates us, we do the wrong things. Lord, forgive all our shortcomings. Remember us in your grace. Remember us in your faithfulness. Lord, be merciful to us. As this author of this psalm says that you are a righteous God and the righteous man will be blessed so abundantly by you. Help us to enjoy all your blessings, especially the protection from the deadly virus and other unwanted things. Meet all our financial needs. We commit all those who are struggling in this present situation without job, without money, without food, without good support from friends and relatives. Lord, we ask you to take care of everything. Change the situation. Help us to rejoice in you always. Thank you for listening to our prayers. Bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen now may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of father and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all now and forevermore amen god bless you all have a blessed night